I'm here with uh, Tahir Bashir uh, for this uh, fourth uh, installment of our series, uh, five segments dedicated to uh, funding uh, and uh, lots more. So uh, first of all, let's talk about uh, funding. You know, it's something that I've been uh, really covering quite a bit on Digital Music Trends uh, just because of uh, uh, funding for musicians, funding for startups are really essential f to get the companies going. So, uh, you know, wh what would you... Um, present as priorities for a company that is looking for funding uh, on the legal front uh, what do they need to make sure that is sorted out thank you for having me um, Andrea so I guess uh, let's start from basics here because you you, you might have some early startups uh, first uh, issue is making sure that you have actually incorporated a company because that's the vehicle for investment so when an investor invests they need to invest in something and if right. you don't have a legal entity some sort of vehicle then um, what are they investing in so set, setting up a company it's an easy process doesn't take very long uh, in the UK you can actually uh, uh, incorporate a company online right. um, so it's not a difficult thing to do uh, the other advantage of incorporating your company is um, you can secure your business name because each company has a, has a name so the earlier you get in there the, the, the quicker you can um, incorporate that name and also uh, the other, from a legal perspective, the other advantage of uh, having a, a, a incorporated company is it gives you limited liability status. So right. what, what that basically means is any deals you do through your company, um, the level of your liability is limited to the value of that company. So if the company has no assets, then uh, ultimately the level of the liability is limited to that. So it protects your home, your personal assets, etc. A lot of startups uh, enter into early contractual deals personally, and that always makes me nervous as a lawyer. Right. And other drawbacks or expenses related to incorporating a company? Yeah, there are some drawbacks. Uh, the drawbacks typically around two things, expenses and administration. So when you uh, incorporate a company, typically you'll have to um, file accounts and file what's called annual returns uh, every year. Um, you can keep those costs down to a minimum because you can, if you're not doing very much, then you'd file dormant accounts. But um, there is some administration and, and, and accounts. Um, and also, uh, from a, once you've set up a company, then the other issues you've got to think about is how are the shareholders of that company, how are they dealt with? So right. there's some internal arrangements that need to be sorted out. Absolutely. And so uh, when you talk about shares, you know, we've all heard uh, horror stories about uh, uh, early founders that were being diluted out of the company. And, you know, some of that is r romance and some of that is actually true fact. So how do you make sure that the, the shares side of things, the ownership side of, thing, side of things is handled properly? Okay, first things first, make sure that um, pre-investment uh, your shares are properly in the company. So um, uh, sometimes shareholders set up a company and they haven't actually issued any shares. Right. So pre-investment, make sure that you've issued the shares to yourselves. Secondly, when you get um, investment, it's very important, um, and even pre-investment actually, if there's, a, if there's more than one shareholder, it's very important to have an arrangement in place, which typically in this country you'd call a shareholders agreement which sets out all the different criteria of the different shareholders. Right. So that includes the value of each of your shares, whether you've got the same types of shares, decision-making processes, um, who you would sell to first. These are called preemption rights and so forth. That's great. Well, thanks so much. And we're going to continue uh, in the next segment uh, talking about uh, funding for a new company. Thank you very much. <laughs>